Somebody shout to the Lord if you believe it. Come on, I'm waiting for you. They shout inside of the winning side. Hallelujah. What a mighty God who said. I danced that I forgot that someone left the stage. Why don't you celebrate Miss D.Y.? Come on. You are mighty. You are worthy of my praise. I want my song that's a received song God does not have one here he has I've never met you before pray to God I've, you've never, have you met me before he can hear you can hear me he has many hears at the same time come on lift your hands to the the God that can hear you anytime anywhere you say Jesus is Lord it becomes Zion Pray in tongues. Come on, don't play church. Pray in tongues this evening. I want married. You can't know the source of his power. He has existed. It's the beginning before beginning. You can know. Come on. Praise him. Pray in tongues. Lift him up. Come on, somebody, I'm waiting for you. All over the campuses, everywhere. Lift up God. Lift up Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Lovely Father, we thank you. Thank you for the strength you've given to us to wait upon you. Nobody's looking stressed. Nobody's feeling sleepy. We thank you. We thank you. We give you the praise. Cause I celebrate you. Thank you for the praise night on the first. Thank you for the first day of the first day of, of the 12 days of glory. Thank you for what you did yesterday. Thank you for what you're going to do today. Thank you, Lord let nobody remain the same let us be do not let us be indulged in theatrics no it's not a show but we want real change from the inside 
father in 2023 we decree and declare that everything will be different for us for good in the name of jesus no matter how small the garden is people will gather to celebrate with us if you believe it shout amen like fire i know you're standing i want us to read john 12 24 together that is my deliberation today there are many things i could have shared but i felt impressed to share what i want to share today and i can't finish what i want to share today so i'm going to break it into two i'm going to share the first part if i follow timing it's supposed to be four but i would try to cramp it together it says most assuredly i say to you unless unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies it remains alone but if it dies it produces much grain pray in the name of jesus that this year 2023 you will reign with christ jesus so shall it be let me greet 23 people this 23 will not finish if you're not up to 23 they have moved away from that place greet 20 leave your seat greet 23 people tell them you are reigning with christ i believe and i believe that in 2023 you are reigning with christ jesus Are you counting? Are you counting? Oh, blessed tree, God in three persons, God in three persons. Oh, one more time. Come on, let's celebrate Jesus in this room. Amen. Be seated. I didn't hear you tonight. What are you saying? Love you too. I heard eventually. Most assuredly, I'm not guessing. I'm not saying things to impress you. I'm telling you, if you turn it several times, this is where it will land. I say to you, I'm not missing words. I'm not suggesting to you. This is not just a suggestion. I am telling you the way it is. Even the father couldn't bend the rule for me. Unless, one version says, except the grain of wheat falls to the ground. And dies it abides alone. But if you can die, it brings forth much more fruit. Contextually, this was when the Gentiles were looking for Jesus Christ. He had told his disciples, Go only to the lost sheep of Israel. But when they came looking, ah, he said, It's time for me to do, go to the cross. Bible says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Everything Christ did that brought him to glory. If you do it, he said, if you suffer with him, we will reign with him. Suffering is not hunger. Suffering is not sickness. When you do things that normally you know, your brain tells you what to do, but you decide to follow the Bible. Have you heard people say, I know what my mates are doing. <laughs> you know what to do. You know what you've done before. But because of, the Bible says the love of Christ com, constrains us. I know what to do. But the love that I love for Christ holds me back. I 
I pray in the name of Jesus in 2023, except you don't believe the prophecy, of, I'm not your pastor. You will reign in every aspect with Christ Jesus. God will cut a portion for you. The days of complaining are over. The days of murmuring are over. The days of I didn't sell with my business, they are over. God will surprise you. A threefold amen if you believe it. Please allow me to tell you that contextually, Jesus was saying, I'm the seed of the woman in Genesis 3.15. The word seed means sperm. I'm the one that came through a woman that didn't have a sperm from a man. How shall these things be? The Holy Ghost will overshadow you. He didn't say Joseph. So Joseph was not a real father, was his foster father. But how does he apply to us? If you are the extension of the ministry of Jesus Christ. First thing I want you to know, and that's what I want to say today because I noticed I spent time yesterday. So I divided the message into two. I believe strongly that I'll be able to do that. Or else I'll do three. What I'm talking about is a key to reigning with Jesus Christ. The first thing I want you to know is that fruitfulness is the manifestation of resurrection. Fruitfulness. In case you're not fruitful, oh, they've told you to bring the sand in your father's house. They've told you to go to your village, go and bring a sand. All those things are voodoo, witchcraft. If you don't it, fruitfulness is a product of resurrection. Hallelujah. He said, I'm resurrection and life. In other words, I'm not afraid of death. I can raise anything. Death and life. This is life and death. Proverbs 18. He started from the worst case scenario. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. I can raise anything. Oh, Martha said, in the last day, I know you will raise my brother. He said, no, now. Now. So God is not afraid of death. Because it can raise you anytime. Whatever has not died cannot enter the next level. When Jesus was in Capernaum, he couldn't be in Samaria. When he was in Samaria, he couldn't be in Jerusalem at the same time. Because he had not died. The Holy Spirit couldn't come. He had not died. There are things on your inside that will never come out until you die. <laughs> Oh, olive oil. You like olive oil. Extra virgin. <laughs> Go and talk to olive oil. Olive tree. They pressed it before what's on the inside came out. Diamonds are black like charcoal when they first of all find them. Until they go through a normal process and the charcoal begins to glitter. Maybe you've seen a raw gold before. It's something you bypass. It looks like a stone. Until it goes through a process. You want to be announced. You want to appear at the showroom. You want to walk and people will fall down. You want, you want to make billions. <laughs> when, when they share testimonies, I, I laugh. If you say, uh, I got healed. And people just, I'm not sick. <laughs> you say, and I, and I had times 100 in my money. And people say, and you say, I shouldn't talk about money. You are not a good marketer. <laughs> when the people I'm sent to, they, they are up raw, it's heavier when it comes to money. I, I should find out what is God saying about money. People that are against prosperity preachers the most are the poorest. Whatever has not died can never enter into the next level. In Hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 I want to read 9 and 10 to you but we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for suffering for the suffering of death crowned with glory. He couldn't have been crowned with glory even he suffered death. He was crowned with glory and honor that he by the grace of God might taste death for everyone. Okay? So I don't need to die on the cross anymore. Church history tells us that they wanted to crucify Peter. Peter ran away. He met Jesus on the way and Jesus said, 
I'm going to Jerusalem. He said, what are you going to go to, to do? He said, to die the death you should have died. By the way, the reason why those people were killed and we are not killed is because they are the first fruit. I wish I had time to say it. That's why you can enjoy what they've, they've gone through. They are the first fruit. Okay. In verse 10, for it was fitting for him for whom are all things by whom are all things in bringing many sons to glory the first are to die to bring many sons to glory to make the captain captain that's the greek word to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering how do you get perfected through suffering on guys no suffering now. lack of money is not what i'm talking about i'm talking about you following christ doing what the word says in line with the, what the Bible says. Why did I start by telling you if you don't die, you can't, you can't enter into new things? Because if you don't die, you can't grow. And if you don't grow, you can't have a portion. So it's travesty for me to start from growth if I don't talk about death, first of all. In Galatians chapter 4, verse 1, if you allow me to read the Amplified because of time, I don't want to read KJV and read number five because of time. Now, what I mean is, is, is that as long as the inheritor or the heir is a child, if he doesn't grow or is underaged, he does not differ from a slave. That's why you see Christians who are supposed to be casting out devils, they are going from mountain to mountain, from prayer meeting to, because they refused to die. And if you don't die, you can grow. We have a lot of them in the 21st century. They move from church to church. They go from meetings to meetings. Some of them are on the internet watching right now. You think they love God. But they've been in the Lord for 20 years. They refuse to grow. You can't grow until you die. You must first of all die. Then you start growing. Although he is legally, he is the master of all the estates. So you can quote scriptures. They are theoretical victors. You can quote, I'm the head and not the tail. We know. You are. But why are we not seeing your life? Because you've not died. In Lamentations 3.27 that I read to you, if you allow me to read the NIV, I will show you something there. It is good for a man to bear the yoke while he's young. I don't know what version says. It's good for a man to be disciplined. So you learn this. If you want your cattle or your oxen to be useful to you, when he's young, you take it to the farm and they yoke it together with a mature oxen. The mature oxen knows the ridge from the hip. He knows when to turn. He knows when to stop. Because in those days, there were no tractors. They used to tie the avesta or the planter behind the oxen. So the oxen is intelligent to know when to stop, when to move, what not to step on. So they yoke it together. That's why if you don't have a real mentor, I'm not talking about the mentor people have, you know, they are tormentors. And they are mentors. And people are used to tormentors. Uh -huh. Have you gone to the toilet today? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, call me back in one hour's time. Yeah, have you got? That's what people think pastoring is all about. The first thing pastoring is about is praying for you. Nothing else. When Moses lifted up his hand, they were winning the battle in the valley. When his hands were tired, his associates put Aaron and all. They held his hand. They put stone. That's the primary work of a pastor. It's when you are a child. He begins to tell, uh, Have you sat down today? Have you prayed today? Have you? He doesn't need to call you. Uh, some people say, I want to say, Pastor, for what? I want him to pray. It's the prayer I want to pray is the one I prayed on the stage. If you didn't receive it, that's it. The prayer I wanted to pray was the one I prayed on the stage. That is, it may sound insensitive to you. How many people will pass us here at the same time? How many people? Imagine if everybody thought, no, no, the, the prayer on the stage was not enough. I, I need to see him personally. He knows to lean on me personally. Everybody. They will not leave the church. It's when you have 
a case. If you understood what I preach, you won't wait behind to see me again. Come on, talk to me. And if you are seeing me every service, there's something you're looking for. That I need to ask you. <laughs> there's something else you're looking for. So, the moment you're born again, God yokes you with somebody. It may be your age already. Maybe someone raising you up. God raised a disciple means you are disciplined in following Jesus Christ. Any seed that has not been planted cannot grow. So what do we do? We sow first of all. We sow first of all. In Luke chapter 5, when, God, when Jesus met Peter, there were two boats there. He said, can I use your boat? Peter could have said, oh, I, I, I labored all night. I wanted to go home right now. Please come tomorrow. God will never have a boat. One, and be stuck. There will be two. In case you say no, you will go to the other. Till today, we don't know the name of the owner of the other boat because Peter yielded. So if you are there, God is telling you something. You say, no, 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 I'm smarter. I don't have time for you. God will go to another person. 2008, God told me, I'm telling you the truth. God said, what I've sent you here to do, I've sent someone, I've sent some other pastor, they didn't do it. That's why I called you. Do you think that humbles me? A lot of humbling process. That wow, what God has asked me to do, he has told someone else to do it before. Go and study in the Bible, people that Jesus called. People that were, when we get to heaven, we will have 12 pillars of the apostle of the Lamb, 12 pillars of the 12 tribes of Israel. There were people God called like, Jesus called like Peter. And they said, oh, I want to go and bury my father. Is it wrong to bury my, your father? It's not wrong to bury your father. Elijah did not talk to Elijah. He just put his coat upon him and walked away. That one ran. I said, hey, let me go and be my father. He said, what have I done to you? But he understood that if you miss that moment, God will call someone else. Pray that anything you missed in time past, God will bring it back to you. A wise man said, you know why the world revolves around? Stand where you are. In case you miss something, it will revolve back and meet you. Anything you missed before will come back to you. If you believe it, shout him in like fire. If you are not planted, you know, someone put a seed in his pocket say, this thing is the forest. Is he saying the truth? Yes. Oh, he puts it by the window. He puts it in the show glass. This seed, not like this seed on the earth. You can't find the original seed anymore. You can only find GMO. You can't find genetically modified seeds are the ones. You can't find this original again. Anybody can display anything. If it's not planted, you don't see the potentials. So you can tell me your potentials. You can tell me what God told you. You can tell me what you've written down. You can say anything. In fact, when you're talking too much, it's because you don't have results. There's a time you speak of your vision. There's a time your vision speaks for you. I pray in 2023, your vision will speak for you. When you're talking, people will say, ah, be quiet. We know you, sir. We know you. We, we've seen your work. Your words have gone ahead of you. That will be your story. That amen is getting lower. I said that will be your story. In the name of Jesus. Except you engage a seed with the, with, the, with the ground. What if you put it by the window? What if you put it on a tree? What if you, and if you don't plant something? People that move from church to church, you move from office to office, from com you are not planted into something. You are a Christian. Greatness is ahead of you. But you are not planted till you are 60. Who will trust you at 60? If you join this church now, before I trust you, it, it may take a year. When you are born again, you see everybody, almost everybody that came up today, they have a story to tell. I did, we didn't plan it. They were born again here. They were raised there. I hope you know we don't employ pastors. We train people. So people come to me all the time. Oh, I'm this in that church. And God said as you come. God couldn't give two instructions. He's not an author of confusion. Who we not like here? So join the workforce. 
Join the workforce. Be trained. You don't have to be born again here because God told me there are people that have worked somewhere else. Their reward is here. But you follow the process. You need to be planted. You need to sow something. And to sow means to dig the ground. And you are covered. Oh, no, I want the micro... You are covered. Oh, I, I want to be traveling. You are covered. In that company, I want to be this. You are covered. The Bible says John the Baptist was in the wilderness until the time of his showing. There's a time. Oh, I, I, I did show you something in verse 2 of chapter 4 of Galatians chapter 4. Chapter 2, Galatians. He, but he is under guardians and administrator or trust until the date fixed by the father not him not your feelings not your really by now you ought to build a house by now you ought to buy a car well anybody can why didn't they buy it for you anybody can see anything out of their mouth but were they the ones that made you were they the ones that designed what you are here to do and oh, time is running One thing you need to know about growth. Thank you very much. One thing you need to know about growth is that you, it begins, you, things begin to break. You can't stop a, a, a growing thing. Put it in a Pots will break. Pots will break. Ground will break. What you know about growth is the breaking of ground. Breaking of stuff. Some things will break off you. I told you when I was an unbeliever, the first thing I would do when I meet with you is to break you. I want, I want to be your boss. <laughs> Remember where I was on the other side. That's the first thing. I won't be close to you if you are like me. I will leave you. I will just greet you from afar. Or not greet you. It takes God breaking some things out of me to be like this. If the way you were before you were born again and now there's no difference you are just you just have a title b you know there's bsc there's b born again <laughs> there's msc you just have a title to make it worse they made you a dick in your church hmm. that's worse after two years they promoted you when your title was, in, was increased they made you a pastor oh that's worse you are learning nothing. You are just increasing what the devil has planted in you. No breaking away. No, no, no change. You know, for 40 years, those who went to the wilderness, uh, those who were born in the desert, in the wilderness, as, as children of Israel, Moses said, I've done them in all harm. To have taken them out of Egypt. Now I couldn't take them into the promised land. Don't let me talk about circumcision. When Joshua became the pastor, when Moses died, the first thing he did was all of you that were born in this wilderness, you have to be circumcised. Now, ladies can't understand. You just think you can understand. But you can't. But a guy that the zipper <laughs> of the trouser has caught him. No, just, just keep looking straight. If it has caught you before, you can imagine what circumcision at 40 years will look like. A pastor will see you be in pain. He will greet you. But you got to do what you got to do. Because until it, what they couldn't do in 40 days, they did in 3 days. <laughs> I pray for somebody listening to me. What you, your parents couldn't do. What your mother couldn't do. What your uncle, wherever you lived. What you never saw growing up. You will see in 2023. If you believe it, shout hallelujah like fire. If you see it, shout hallelujah like fire. When you see growth, you see tearing. You see breaking, cracking. Scientists have a, a camera they put on plants, like a time-lapse camera. And they discovered night or 
maybe the fourth day or the sixth day or the second week or so they, they see a break in. something begins to break for the plant to come out you may wake up in the morning and see the plant but 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 have i told you the story of a seed before the seed a farmer dug the ground and buried it ah that was the worst thing that farmer did ah and i was nice to you how can you bury me how now, nobody, nobody sees me. <laughs> you know, people that are close to you, you don't ask and say, a year ago, you were doing better. We can't see you now. You, 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 you are tempted to approach yourself to be seen. You are tempted. You don't know. What I'm sharing with you is not what is prevalent in your generation. If people are telling you things like this because they love you, I'm talking to myself. If you don't die, some things will not come out. So the farmer planted the seed and covered it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The seed was complaining. Ah, ah, there's heat here. Oh, yes, there will be heat. Because I want something to come out of you. Something inside you that you know that the world didn't know. Will come out. There's heat here. Suddenly, they put water. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Water. Oh, I'm thirsty. Water. It doesn't know that the water will make it decay. <laughs> suddenly, the water, may whether it's rain or they wet it, suddenly the seed starts to decay. The seed starts to cry and decay. This was not how I joined this ministry. <laughs> Even if I would drink Gary with milk. <laughs> Have you spoken sincerely to someone that just received ministry two years after? Because God is not full of magic. You will grow. If you, if you jump up, you come. But can I be shorter? Except I have cancer. And I won't have cancer. I can be shorter. Because I grew up. I was the shortest in my class in 1986. I was the shortest. I went for one holiday in 1987. And I just grew to pew. What? Everybody was saying, wow. How? Well, I didn't know the value. <laughs> Yesterday, there were two girls that came to me with their mom. They came to us and my wife was saying that, oh, no, the mom said, this, this one will be short. This. And she revolted. Oh, mommy, I can't be shot. Uh -uh. My wife said, ah, she was just playing. She said, no, I can't be shot. <laughs> but in our days, nobody wanted to be, we didn't know the value. You only were a tall person if you were a bully. So thankfully, in 97, when I grew up in the, uh, during the uh, holiday, nobody bullied me. I didn't sit in front anymore. I sat, I was behind like the big boys. <laughs> Oh, they told me that, oh, you look like your grandfather. Because my father was not that tall. My mom is not that tall. Oh, you look like your grandfather. In my mind, I was like, thank God for grandfather. The genes were inside me, but I had to eat. I had to do several things. It took time for the gene to come out. Brother and sister. You're listening to me. There are some things on your inside. It will take some time for those things to come out. You don't stop eating. You don't stop. Come on, talk to me. You don't stop doing those things because of where you are right now. It's on your inside. Stop talking about it. Let us see results. When they put water on the seed, oh my God, it starts to decay. But after a while, something started coming inside started coming out from the decade oh you need to see if a scientist describe what happens to a seed muko starts happening when they pour water after a while muko start coming out you don't want to see the, the seed changes color <laughs> you just join somewhere they say hey please i want you to be praying where during pastor's message ah 
I'm here because of Pastor Wednesday. Be praying. Pray where? At the basement. <laughs> we'll give you the tip after. Say, ah, what kind of church? No, I'm leaving that church. That brother doesn't like me. No. Maybe that's what God chose for you. To bring out something out of you. Oh, uh, sit there. No, 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 no. no. You don't know the kind of tithe I pay? My tithe <laughs> ought to get me a front seat. Oh, yes. It's obvious you don't talk to your pastor. Because your pastor can't treat me like this. You see, when they switch on the light and cooler, it's part of my money. <laughs> we don't do, there are givers and there are givers. Yay! Are you following what I'm saying? Yes, you are not dead yet. You are not dead yet. There are people that can't throw their tithes in the offering bowl. They want to see the pastor so that the pastor will know that this kind of money, this kind, does not go out. <laughs> You're not dead yet. You think I'm just making you laugh. I'm telling you the things I've been through myself. There are places we used to go to to pay tithe. They won't let us see the pastor. But God said, go there. For example, Christ Embassy. Where will you meet pastor? How much is your tithe? So they gave me a copper that was a lawyer to attend to Koza. <laughs> Tell me to kneel now and pray for me on behalf of Pastor Chris. <laughs> I'm not kneeling before you, I'm kneeling before God. You know the reason why God said this, my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Because Jesus Christ went to John the Baptist to be baptized. Someone that must decrease, he must increase. You know what Jesus told him? Let it be so for now. No doctor, lecturer, is training a doctor. And that doctor may be greater than him. Architect. If you know you are greater than your lecturer, just don't make it too high. Just tell me. Let me just. If you know that you are doing better than your lecturer. Anybody? Huh? We have actors in church. <laughs> there are lecturers that lectured you when you're on hundred level. They still see you and tax you. Ah! Yeah. Uh -uh. Biodun, biodun. You are doing well, though. <laughs> uh, so this is my account number. You should sure appreciate people like us. <laughs> <laughs> because whoever is training you is not training you to be a student for life. Pray in 2023. You will stand out. I say you will stand out. Some people think I just say that thing for fun. But mark it. If your amen is genuine, you will stand out. I pray from my heart that you will hear stagnation like fire. In the name of Jesus. Let me say something to you before I move forward. The benefit of growth is, is too much. There are some things you will never have until you grow. Someone was gracious enough to give me a car in this church. But I noticed my last son loves the car. <laughs> like he jumps up when he sees the car. The key of the car is like the shape of the car. He likes to play with the car, the, the, with the key. So one day, I just told him, what can I not give my son? So I called him and I said, from today, the reason I've not sold the car or given the car out or anything is because I've given my son. Do you know till today he looks at that car? Oh, this car is my car. But I can't give him. He's a baby. Oh, he doesn't like me calling him a baby. He's the boy. <laughs> Amen. 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 Like, all he needs to do to have the car is to grow up. There are some things that are yours in Christ Jesus. But God will never give you the way you are. You are still keeping gossip. You are still keeping malice. You are still there. They are saying, are you a partner? No, no, a partner. Yeah, yeah. You are still, they are still struggling. You are still... Thinking, hey, should I be by 10% or 20 You are still, you are not a, you are not mature. You are not mature yet. 
So there are some th they are yours, even though the estate belongs to you. But except the heir or the heritor grows up, he does not differ from a slave. That's why a lot of Christians are, don't differ from, a, from, from slaves. You don't differ from people of other religion, your cousins that don't go to church. In finance, in your marriage, you don't differ because you've not grown up. And to grow up, first of all, if I will not just preach to you, if I want you to have a practical result, you need to die. You need to die. You need to die. If God can cause you to grow, you become unstoppable. What can, can you stop growth if it's natural? The evidence of life is growth. Every baby, except Adam, and the child grew in stature. Having favor with God and man. Everybody starts small. Life is never afraid of smallness. If you go to dedicate the church or dedicate the business or dedicate the house, a foundation, if you built before, you will not, uh, you tell them, give me the, pro, give me the, the prototype you've made. Kai, this is how this house will be. I was building a particular building. I used to go there every evening. When the Lord finished building it for me, I think two months, if I'm correct, we couldn't move in. I was shocked. Okay, so where will I go now if I move here? So, there is no building I go to. I understand that the hands of Zerubbabel that sees the foundation will put the capstone on it. Pray in the name of Jesus. Anything God is telling you to do, as you do it, you will see on your result. As your recipe will be different, your cake will not look like this. Yes. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Growth does not recognize any obstacle. In Mark chapter 4, because of time, I'm out of time again today. In Mark chapter 4, I want to read from verse 3. I won't read the whole thing because of time. He said, listen, behold, a sower went out to sow. That's all you need this year. Instead of you to be bothered, how will God do this? How will God do that? How will I get? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Focus on your part. The sower went out to sow. The word sow or sower means you planted something. It means you dug the ground and buried something inside. Nobody wants to be buried. Everybody wants to be seen. Why do we like social media? Why do we like to have a phone? Why do we like YouTube more than TV? Why do we like to respond more than just watching? You want to contribute. You want to respond. Is God put it there. <laughs> but you have to manage what God puts there. One of the reasons why you need to learn what I'm sharing with you because it looks as if I'm making a simple thing difficult. It's because potentials will never come out of you. You take a seed and say, <laughs> this seed, this is a mango seed, or this is an oak tree. Oak tree? You see an acorn? You see oak tree? You will never see the oak tree if you don't plant it. Never! If you like, know the species, know how to lecture about it, you will never see that thing if you don't plant it. Don't waste your life. Don't waste your capacity. I want to say to you, you and I need to die. We need to die to people. Pastor Biodo, you are just talking about this death. What do you mean? <laughs> Go to the morgue. See a dead, a dead body. Say, yeah, yeah. No could better for you. You want to 
Someone didn't greet you alone. Your day is spot. What happened? You didn't greet me. Ah, you're not dead. From the time you didn't greet me, uh, you must be running after something. He's busy. Or I don't need the greeting. He even saved me from saying, Ekwel, El, 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 If you're not here, you don't understand what I'm saying. If you dare go to my hometown, please don't greet them. All. They will make sure they're the last to greet you. They will follow you. Oh, 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 oh. They will follow, they will follow you. What is it? If he don't also go, they will follow you everywhere. Oh, 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 okay. oh, oh. If you are from Kogi or Ekiti, you know what I'm saying. They will follow you everywhere. They will be the last to greet you. And they won't just greet you. They will stay with you. Oh, 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 they will stay. After greeting you, they will stay. Ah, okay. They will talk about your face. They will talk about, ah, oh, you are taller. You are, ah, uh, you don't do. <laughs> Jesus said, the way Jonah was buried, even the fish, I must go to the belly of the earth. I must go. If I don't go. Let me talk like Pastor Biyomi. Can I humble you? <laughs> so as, as cars. Everybody wants to be known. Everybody wants to be seen. Including the person talking. So as, as cars. That's why in 2023, you must make up your mind to be a sower. It's not money I'm talking about. If it's money, uh, money is easy to sow. And I'm not making light of the sowers that we have in church. But sowing yourself ah, is very hard. Sowing yourself, it depends on what God is telling you to do. To evangelism. Sowing yourself to the purpose of God. How can God tell me to move away from Abuja and go to a city to, to help them? So yourself is very difficult. I can give money and just, oh yeah, you people just, just I can pay people, people school fees from the village and say, stay there, don't disturb, <laughs> don't come and disturb my children. I can do that. But when, when God says, so yourself, I want to see this. I want to see that. This is what I want to see in 2023. As I'm speaking, I'm not speaking to everybody. But if you're feeling what I'm sharing with you, don't think everybody feels that way. God will knock on your heart. If you open, you will come in. Pray in the name of Jesus that you will stand out. The first seed to sow is yourself. You must cast yourself down. You must cast yourself down. You know, a doctor had a conversation with me. He said, if you want to live long, the first thing you do is a neuropathy doctor, is a natural doctor. He said, chew your food very well. Once you chew your food very well, so which means <laughs> we don't have teeth for fun. Those strong white, <laughs> strong white teeth it's not for fun. It's to chew. Have you seen people that swallow rice before? <laughs> What's going on? You are doing like, you are looking at me like, eh? He said, chew your food. Until your food decomposes, it doesn't benefit you. Does that make sense to you? What do we call indigestion? When your food refuses to be decomposed, is of no value to you. Listen to me. You have no value on this earth if you don't die. What God has placed on your inside, you know what he did? He didn't put the treasure inside a diamond, uh, uh, whatever. He didn't put it inside a gold cover. He didn't put it inside a silver vessel. He put it inside an earthen, a clay, the one be behind the door. He has put eternity in your heart. You will never see what God has... You know, there, there's something you have that you have no idea about. And it takes heat for hot air to rise. Cold air 
drops. That's why we put AC up. You can see up everywhere. We even raise some ACs. But if it's a heater or a fireplace, it has to be down because hot air rises. In 2023, what God has placed on your inside will come out in the name of Jesus. Some of you think you understand what I'm saying. The ground is dark brown, loamy, dirty. Even if it rains, it doesn't rain very well, the sun begins to smell. But when abyssus came out of the ground, it doesn't look like the ground that came from. Something will come out of you this year that will not look like you. That will not look like you. That will not look like you. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. I have a few minutes. Let me quickly say this. In 1 Corinthians 15, verse 35, I want, I'm supposed to read to 38, but I may not have time. Someone say, how are the dead raised up? Someone says that. And with what body do they come? Next verse, verse 36. Foolish one. What you sow, does is not made alive unless it dies. Every Sunday, every Sunday night, you day born again. No. You do and so tell the thing God they shame you. I they assure you, say if you come to him tonight, he know they tire, he know they tire. You know the time, better day, better day. Every time you come here, you say, I'm here to give my life to Christ. Before the service ends, you take it back. <laughs> to make it worse, people tell you, by next week, you start seeing results. No. If you don't die, there will be no difference. In result, in anointing, even your experience when you sleep, if you don't die, you must switch. You're on the YouTube, you see some things, some videos, you die to it. I'm not watching. You'll see some musicals, you want to sing, and like, you die to it. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. Some of the masturbation you do, some of those things are things you watch. Some of them don't come as a movie. Some of them come as musicals. I think you give attention to because you are not dead to them. If they place that video at the mug to a dead person, dead person no reaction. No reaction. You are still reacting because you are not dead. So you can grow. And if you can grow, some things that rightfully belong to you you just be living in theory. They will never be yours. After your HOD gives you instruction of your church or whatever it is, I don't know. Time does not permit me to, to walk the scriptures very well. Somebody comes to you who is not dead. Hmm. How old is that person? I'm even older. They're not dead. When you are dead, you forget age. You start considering grace. Are you following what I'm saying? Someone employed you. You are talking about age. Some things only happen in Africa. I was watching on YouTube somebody complaining that even his a phone call they don't allow her in UK to answer phone call. But in Africa, if it happens, they will go to, you say, at the go village for a weekend. They will leave village and say, Uncle, this person did disturb me. That's what you signed for when you were employed. Foolish one! Don't you know that that which you sow, it is not quickened or made alive. Let's read the New Living Translation, NLT, of verse 36. What a foolish question. When you put a seed in the ground, it does not go into 
into plant unless if it dies first. So there are lives that are still intact. You are born again, but you have an unbeliever boyfriend. You know, Christ is on one side, devil is on one side. Your life is intact. You think you are smart, and God is just with you. You know, it, I don't know if I'm funny, we agree with me. Anybody, this, I used to swim very well. You want to save someone drinking water. You know, there's drinking, there's drinking. Drinking water in the pool. You allow the, the person will start struggling. You allow them to, because if they grab you, you will go together. I don't know whether there are new technologies right now to do. If they grab you, you are going together. So God is waiting for you to struggle. And some of you, you struggle in it. Your husband. <laughs> I've told you, man, look at the dictionary meaning of also. You just say things. I don't hustle. If you like, say I'm not social. If you like, say I'm not modern. I don't hustle. When it is, things come to me. May God bless my hustle. Where did you see that in the Bible? <laughs> Somebody just said it and you are copying him. You did. you are preaching well until you taught the aspect I needed to touch it because in 2023 you will not say such things out of your mouth in Jesus precious name in Jesus precious name say after me I will encounter real growth in 2023 come on say it again so I had a neighbor his name was Lawale. He said, let's have a farm. Instead of fighting over this land, <laughs> it was the same house. There was a land. He said, let's have a farm together. So we planted. I used to go there every morning to look at what we planted. How you know someone is a child? Plant something in nursery two. Or class one. Children will go there and say, you mean what we planted has not come up? Say no. The teacher will say no. You know what I did? I uprooted to see if someone has not <laughs> stolen what I planted. Oh, it was there. Oh, I put it back. <laughs> That's how some people do. They sold their life to Jesus Christ, and after a week, they say, ah. Not seriously, the bridge at the They approved it. <laughs> Suddenly, where they used to get money that was unscrupulous, the devil shot every direction. And God is just looking, what is he going to do? What is she going to do? She said, I became a Christian. Things became hard. No, you have to die first. You have to die first. If you don't die, what you have sown does not grow. Don't be foolish. What you've sown do not grow if you don't die. Don't let us talk about growth. Maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow. Let's talk about what you need to do. First of all, you need to be planted. Be planted in something. You are never part of something. Children are impatient. That's how you know you're a child. That's how you know you've not grown. You are, you are so impatient. What are you supposed to do? Number one, I'll just give you three things and I close because of time. Have you gained something? Yes, sir. Number one, the real message is coming tomorrow. Just a background today. Some can't be corrected, yet they're born again. When you correct them, their faces just change. Or their face just changes immediately. That's the way they were wired. That's their temperament. In Zephaniah 3, verse 1, 
I want to read verse 1 to 2. Woe to her who is rebellious and polluted. To the oppressing city. She has not obeyed his voice. She has not received correction. When I'm correcting you, for example, I look at your face. I want to know who you are. I told someone recently, what Bishop Bodeko does not know about me are things he's never asked me. Never! Wait, how will I... <laughs> what they, they asked me to use to have my bath, did I drink it? That my face would change when it's correcting me. And he has corrected me before. I, have, I had a mentor that corrected me about something. I was sweating inside this seat. And I'm a Jew. I'm not supposed to be under anybody. But I set it like that. You have to learn to be corrected. Particularly if you are sure that the person correcting you has your interest at heart. If he doesn't have your interest, he doesn't have a right to correct you. The Bible says in Proverbs 3.11 Are you all still here? Or you left the building? My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord. Nor detest his correction. In verse 12 For whom the Lord loves, he corrects. Just as the Father, the Son, whom he delights. There are people that will offend you. You just keep quiet. Because you know you don't have... You, that's the last time the person will come before you. You don't have a future with the person. But someone that you think, ah, this person made a mistake, you correct. For me, correction is how you know that you still have a future with somebody. But if you go to a level that someone that you correct you is keeping quiet, it's because he has given up and given up on <laughs> you. That will not be your portion. In Proverbs 5, I'm reading from verse 12, it's getting quiet in this Pentecostal church. What is happening? Okay, respond to me if you're sinking. Just respond. Thank you. Proverbs 5, 12. And say how I have hated instruction. And my heart despised correction. I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers. So a lot of people claim they have mentors. But they don't have any. They even talk more. They don't listen. They don't write things down. I've told you what to do when you stand before a mentor. Not me. Any mentor. Your, your business. Your Anybody. I have told you what to do. Say to them back what they say to you. They will think, wow, this person, I'm supposed to invest in this person. Someone can come at the gate and say, no, no, I'm tired. Say, I'm not around. And someone else can come after them and say, oh, let them come here. I'm tired, but come, 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 come. I put up my shoe, but I can see you. Because you don't think you're wasting your time. Some people will come to you. They've made up their minds what they want to do. They're just looking for someone to validate. So they will talk, oh, talk, oh, talk, talk, talk. No, no advice, no counsel. They don't listen to any counsel. And if you've been like that since you were young, you need to rebrand yourself. Yes, sir. Don't listen to everybody. Listen to somebody. Yes, sir. Sisters, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Don't marry a man that you can have somebody to report him to. Don't come to me with a secondary problem. From the time you are caught in, ask him, in case you misbe, who should I report you to? <laughs> Use your own hand to destroy your own self. I have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to those who have instructed me. I'm going to verse 14. I was on the verge of total ruin in the midst of the assembly and congregation. Pray in the name of Jesus. You will have someone that will tell you, Kai, in the name of Jesus. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, quickly. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. So, scriptures also can correct you apart from what people say to you. Some people will see something in the Bible, they say, oh, that's Bible now. That was written 2,000 years ago. Uh -huh. So me, see another thing. <laughs> they are not the ones I'm talking to. 
People that are submitted to the lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ and the word of God is the final authority of their lives. They are the ones I'm talking to. The Bible says he is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. In 2 Kings chapter 12, verse 2. 2 Kings chapter 12, verse 2. There's a king called Jehoash. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord. All the days of his mentor, Jehoash died. The priest, he instructed him. He made sure he didn't make a mistake. But when Jehovah died, died, he began to misbehave. That will not be your portion. But mentors can save your life. Number two, what's the first one? Eh? Eh? Okay, number two. Choose your friends wisely. Some people's problems are just their friends they keep. They are good people. In 1 Corinthians 15, 33, the Bible says evil companionship or friendship. He said, don't be deceived. A lot of people are deceived already. By thinking, I'm a good person. My friends are just corrupt. When I see your friend, you are worse than them. Because I know them. Oh, so a CEO was talking to me. He said, that person... I know what she can do. But this person, she hides. <laughs> I say, ah, this person is worse. You are worse because everybody around you is a rebel. But you know how to play Oshaka and Shoko <laughs> together. You are a pretender. You know how to be loyal here. You know how to, you can do the two together. In Proverbs 13, verse 20. Proverbs 13, 20. He who walks with the wise will be, will be wise. But the companions of fools shall be destroyed. If you walk with people that pray, you know what will happen to you. As time goes on, you pray. You may not be able to pray like that. Maybe they do six hours. You can do one hour. Because they pray. When you are alone, you just find yourself doing what you saw, what you observed that they did. But if all your friends are, church now, church now, church, here, people that do birthday, Christians, they serve alcohol, they are your friends. You laugh, they say, I like your own Christianity. No heart. No heart. You are climbing the horse of a cockroach. If their marriage is good, what will you do? You will walk on your own. But if everybody around you is a, is a single person or they are divorcees, you will soon lose your own husband or you will soon lose your own wife. Because your company defines you. You smell like the company you keep. What follows you depends on who you follow. Number three, because of time. Some don't want to be planted anywhere. They just want to be moving. Pia, 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 pia. Child of God, you are listening. Read my lips. As unstable as waters, you can't excel. Read my lips. You can't excel. That's why people that pastored on campus, it will take God for you to, see, to notice them. Because they've already ordained them a pastor. Now, the church they joined after leaving the campus, they want to behave like a pastor. They don't want to be planted. That's how 20 years in their life, oh, Jacob said this, surely the house of God and the gate of your, your potentials, your purpose, do not come out except you are planted somewhere. Isaiah 61 verse 3. I want to read it to you. You've read it before. The Bible says in Isaiah 61 to console those who mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of healing, that they may be called the tree of righteousness. They're planted not of their father, of the Lord. That he may be glorified. Not you. Not what you think is right. That he may be glorified. 
In 21st century, you don't want to be committed to anything. <laughs> we have some people working for us. I said, to protect you. And I was doing it to protect them. I said, let's just sign an agreement. Ah, oh, that was what I said. And now I ask, I said, what's the problem with agreement? To protect you. To let you know that I'm not interested. In anything. No, no, no. Why? Because an average young person thinks he can use you and run away. He doesn't want to sign an agreement. So I told, I told everybody involved, the lawyers involved, I said, no, no, don't let them sign. Since I wanted to protect, they don't want the protection. Leave them alone. <laughs> I've seen no. <laughs> My eyes have seen I told the pastors this morning, I mentioned the pastor's name. You want to do more than that pastor? You can't survive. Just leave it. Whoever has a revelation of Jesus is the person that will be faithful. Yeah. That you want to impress them. I've had somebody around me before that said, what I wear, you will wear. Where I live, you will. Anything I have, you will have. It will not work. There's a spirit in man. <laughs> If you don't leave some people to do what they want to do and they run it, they skater and they, they meet the Waterloo, they will never learn. The character I have, if you are good to me, oh my God, I want to impress you. But some people think, oh, it's good to me because I'm only. I'm solid. I'm gifted. I'm about to call some people that. There's nobody that's not gifted. Though. Nobody. Please don't think you are the only one. Nobody. Nah. Eh? Tyre, are you not gifted? He's the youngest son in Nigeria. Is he not gifted? Everybody's gifted. Everybody. If I come to your area, I will clap for you. If you come to my area, clap for me too. But for you to be feeling superior, everybody should be. Who are you? And on entities will be listening to them. That's why I made up my mind. If you're not a CEO, you can't be close to me. Because you must have gone through, you must have seen what I've seen. If you've not seen it, you are not qualified to, to be close to me. Always oh, quiet in this Pentecost church. Why do people, and I close on this. Why don't they sow themselves? Number one, everybody wants to be Agony Chamber one. <laughs> no two. One. What I'm saying right now may be funny to you. You may not agree with me, but when you get home and you're alone, ask yourself this question. Everybody. I go for a minister, minister's conference. I see names of ministers that they write down. They never show up there because they can put you on the fourth row. They can put you on the fifth row. Immediately I, I went there, I, I took these pastors, some of them, along. And I told them, we are not here to, for Sito. We are here for Greece. Some people can't come. Because they can't afford to be on the third seat. All some people, I went to one conference like that, the pastor that was organizing the conference said, the people in front, all they have is the front seat. Don't copy them. <laughs> I, said, I said in my mind that before you spoke to me, I had spoken to myself. All some people are looking for a seat. And that's all they have. That's the reason why people are not planted. They want to be a Guna Chamber one. I told one my son, I said, in this city, let me tell you, you are new here, let me tell you what happened. Every, everybody wants to, that's why there is no big church. Don't be like them. Or say yes, I won't be like them. Number two, have you gained something? Yes, sir. They are not sure what they carry. So they are thinking, huh, I must do this, I must do that, I must connect with this person, I must do this, I must be in this clique, I must do this. To shine. They are not sure what they carry. 
Jesus said, I'm the truth. They said, eh? You are the truth? They killed the truth. They buried the truth. What happened the third day? The truth resurrected. He didn't only resurrect. The truth came out and said, did I not tell you? You know what he did? He didn't hold it out of the grief. When Jesus came out of the grief, Jesus was in the grief for three days. When he came out, you know what he did? He folded up the bed sheet. Ah, if you are dead in this place and you say you carry Jesus, he, fo- he made sure he did. When they entered his grief, they didn't meet any dread. He was, he took his time. I mean, he knew who he was. I'm the truth! But you want to be everywhere. You want to connect. You want to be this. I preach for them. I go here. I go there. Because you don't understand what you carry. You are at peace. Whether I'm the, in the jungles of Bonjibura or the cities of Venezuela, what is mine will come to me. Whether this man settles me or not, God will settle me. Because he sent me here, not a human being sent me here. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Oh, that amen is not, is not loud enough. Can somebody shout amen? Number three, conversations. Conversations. What conversations do you have? When somebody is not speaking faith, I round up, I rap, because you affect me. You must speak faith. If you are pretending, pretend when you are in front of me. And go back and be yourself when you are away from me. Because you will contaminate. Now, faith is not then. I can't say I walked in faith yesterday. I must be in faith now. Now, faith is not then. Oh, my master mentor was talking. You know what he said? He said, I don't have one unbeliever friend. I'm not saying copy him. But he don't know me. That which means the conversation is having is Bible or through. Bible. After you've heard all sorts, you are so low. You, you come to church, Jackie. Okay. Okay. You sit at the back. Worship leader, we need to wind you before you join and sing the song. The pastor will preach you out. Of, you go again, you are full again. No, you go to have a conversation again. Boo, 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 you come to church again. Boo, 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 boo. Conversations. Please don't raise your hand. But there are people that are full, they are loaded, they are filled. Once you start having conversations, God, the Holy Spirit will warn you. You are talking too much. After one hour, all you do, you will start lying. <laughs> you will start adding to, and you lose your peace. Monday, the same thing. Holy Spirit just turned his back. By Tuesday, I beg, I don't feel kill myself. <laughs> by, by Wednesday, you are far from me. This is the problem. So, you can't even post your church. On your page. 12 days of glory. Oh, it has blessed me. You can say it, but you can't post it. Because of the conversation you've had. Number four. Let me close on this. Revelation. Lack of revelation. A lot of people don't know that what they sow do not resurrect. It's not quickening unless it dies. They don't have that revelation. They think you're a fool when you are doing some things. They think, oh, what will he do? He's the pastor of the church now. What else? He can pretend now. But you can't have this kind of revelation and remain the same. Never. A lot of people have legitimate reason for not being planted. The exact thing God uses to bless them, they in turn and turn against God. For example, marriage. My sister, why are you not uh, doing what? Ah, you're not married now. So God bless you. And that blessing became a curse. You know, someone sent me a message yesterday or so. Say, how do you juggle everything together? One of the things you need to ask God is, God, these are my, the things I need to do this year. How do I do them? And God can teach you. God, employ this person. Do this. Do that. But why is it that he's God's calf that dies all the time. 
Have you heard the story? Somebody had two cows. The, the, the cow gave birth to two cows. He said, I will give God one. He said, which one? He said, it's between me and God. <laughs> so they told him, a cow hit a calf. On the he said, yeah, God's calf. He has not known the one who said, hey, God's calf died. It's only, why is it that it's God's calf that dies? Why? I have children. My job. Oh, my mother-in-law came. All those things are legitimate things that God gave to you. Not to stop or reduce what he wants you to do. Until you die, no growth. Until you grow, no place. Until you have a place, no rain. Let me quickly say this. There is no dominion without domain. You must have a place. There must be a place where you're reigning. No dominion without domain. Imagine if I say, in F City, election starts tomorrow. The first thing someone will ask me is that, ah, who are you? Now, if I say in Koza, there will be election tomorrow. It should be so. I'm the senior pastor of Koza. But my place or dominion ends in Koza. <laughs> it does not get to Abuja. If I will have dominion in Abuja, maybe the minister is my son. And he will need to listen to me. To, once my, the, the minister is my son and he can he has to submit to the president. Maybe the president is my son. And I say, look, I want Abuja to shut down because I'm having churches of glory. Yes, sir. Then my dominion has entered that level. I'm not the one that would declare it. If I declare it, no, people will go to work. <laughs> because my dominion does not get there. I need to talk to him to declare it. Yeah. And as a president, when he declares something, they have to listen to him. Who says that lady is today? Where's your place? That's how you will reign with Christ Jesus. But you can't have a place until you grow. You can't grow until you die. Jesus said, who do people say that I had a son of man? Ah. He said, you are Elijah. He said, who do you say? Peter rose up and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus said, mm, flesh and blood has not revealed that to you, but my father that is in heaven. And I say to you, you are Peter. He was Simon before, unstable. Now that you have discovered Jesus Christ, you will discover yourself. A lot of people don't discover themselves because they've not died with Christ Jesus. The picture of the cross is a group picture. When Jesus died, you are supposed to die. When he rose, you are supposed to rise. When he's seated, you are supposed to be seated. It's a group picture. I want you to think about it. What area has God asked you to die? To let go. Oh, I love that testimony. That brother was judgmental to his wife. Was several things to his wife. Came to church. And that day I was sharing on marriage. I'm sure I just touched it. And he went back home. And went to reconcile with his wife. And became something else. That testimony was from Marba Church. Or Guzapi Church. Who can tell me? Guzapi Church. Okay, good. You can see how the wife was smiling from side to side. Maybe she has not smiled before then. What do you need to do? What do you need to add? What is God telling you? The Holy Spirit told me. He only tells you about people. He doesn't tell you about yourself. The best leadership is self-leadership. And I pray that your life will take a new turn in 2023 in the name of Jesus. Bow your heads where you are, except you are led to stand up. Ask the Lord. Lord, is the, is the, the time is already fast spent. What am I supposed to do in 2023? You know, God gives more grace to the humble. You can say this message is not for me. You can, anything, you can say anything. But if the Lord 
knocks your heart. Today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Don't harden your heart where you are. You may be outside listening to me. You may be on another campus. You may be outside the country listening to me. What has God told you? What have you dreamt about? What has he spoken to you over and over expressly? What is that thing? It's insanity to keep doing the same thing and expect a different result. I want you to bow your heads and talk to the Lord. What is that thing you have your finger on? What do I need to be dead to? What do I need to deal with? That something great will come out of me. Something you have placed there will come out of me. What do I do? What are the secret things of my life? What do I do that nobody knows? What do I, what do I need to die to? A songwriter says you can't hide it from God. You may cover your sins that no one else will know. You can't hide it from God. This is 2023. What do I need to deal with? I'm going to give a call to, to people. If you need to lay something on the altar as a sign, not money, not anything physical, but you want to present yourself and say, Lord, from today, I want to be a different person. Come forward. Let me pray for you. Come. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody. Lord, I come. Him at your feet, Lord Jesus, in your presence, his fullness of There is nothing, before, before. there is no one Sing for me. to compare with you. I take pleasure in worshiping you. In worshiping you, oh, as a pleasure, in worshiping you, as a pleasure, in worshiping you, oh, there is nothing, there is no one to go. I take pleasure in worship. you. It gives more grace to the humble. Oh, Father, I don't want to come out on my seat. God can hear me. The instruction God gave is that if you want to give your life, totally to God you want to deal with some things there's some things anything you indulge you never change anything you have anything you make comfortable will never leave you you can love God and also love sin what is that secret thing in your life what is what has God put a finger on that you keep going back to it's going to deliver someone this evening I need you to rise to your feet and come don't be proud if that's you come reach out to him not me I can't deliver one person. I take pleasure in worship. I take pleasure in worship. Now I command in the name of Jesus anything standing between you and God, let it disappear in the service in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord give you a new beginning. Anything that the enemy is using to take advantage of you. Anything showing you 
to take the real from you. In the name of Jesus, let it bow before you in the service. Let it bow before you in the service. The deceitfulness of sin. When the enemy deceives you, the Bible says he beguiled Eve. When Eve saw that the food was desirable, how did she know? Somebody told her. I pray in the name of Jesus. You know, you can train a demon and you can cast out what you should train. So after now, you need to go and read books and make up your mind that you finish well. I pray in the name of Jesus. Anything the enemy has jumped on anything he's doing in your life whether drugs whether i don't know what it is that is not glorifying things you have to hide i pray in the name of jesus you are delivered tonight you are delivered tonight you are delivered tonight if you believe it shout him like fire it's a new day for you raise up your hand everybody raise up your hand everybody father in the name of jesus thank you for victory shackles are off our hands so we can dance to you so we can lift up holy hands to you not one person whoever the son has set free is free indeed thank you father we give you the praise cause us celebrate you Pop for jesus we believe it jesus said to the woman that was supposed to be stoned said go and say no more any instruction God has given to you go and do it if he tells you delete that person from your phone do it if he tells you throw away that key do it if he tells you move back to your friend's house do it if he tells you change your work do it anything he has done tonight is saving you from something and as you do it there will be a new you will in with Jesus what you are willing what you are able to walk into depends on what you walk away from and as you do it the lord will help you in the name of jesus maybe said that the day pastor preached on dying i died maybe said about you i've created a bridge for you today the bridge can take you back to where you came from you can burn the bridge so from today the bridge has helped me to cross you the other side I'm never going back again that will be your story let's give the Lord a hand as you get back to your seat